Christian sit down and start tell you, say, boy, right now, you see them people there, eh? them wicked, you know, because you know, they might kill people in the name of them religion, in the name of God. And them don't recognize eh, a year Christians are kill people in the name of God, Jesus Christ. And when you look at all Jamaica, most of the leaders, them, the politicians, them give credence to this Christian idea. And they must suffer the people, them. Most of the police, them, who you see, are kill people. Them go to church every Sunday. In the name of Jesus. Them go to church. Blessed love, my viewers and subscribers who are gone. Hope and all doing good. Hope and all doing great. Now we again upon the Soul Chat TV with another Muta Baroka content. And this one is a video that I have been watching from since this morning. And I decide I got to share it with you guys. It's a video where Muta Baroka is exposing the wickedness that Christian people do to us as black people and how they corrupt our minds and also what the indigenous people think about religion it get really really interested so you want to stay tuned as pan-africanists and rastafarite we all need to open our mind and accept the truth this video is going to be really really informative so before we go into it you know it's a black power movement so definitely drop a like and subscribe if you haven't done it already and share it with a friend or a family so they can be a part of the movement and let's go straight into it and check out what Muta Baruka has to say and hopefully we can learn something and come to an understanding then we can share our opinion down in the comment section let's walk a man not a real Christian that him do something watch a man good people do evil things man and religion make you do evil things. Religion make you do evil things. Now here we know. The Muslim say, boy, right now, any man we are Muslim, I infidel. Well, you know them say I infidel, so you're for dead. The Christian I say, well, you know, say them argument, they know, well, that of the Christian say, the cross killer say, you know them argument, they know, really, we can't work with them argument, they know. You have to change me and say, if a man no agree with you, him for dead. The Christian, I go like, say, I the same thing Christian say. Is that hurt me, the whole thing, you know. The whole thing is that, a long time Christian, I tell you, say, why, if you don't follow Jesus Christ, you go born in a fire. Bottomless spit and throw in a bottomless spit. So what the difference? What the difference between the Muslim, where I say, if you're not Muslim, you're going dead. And if you're not Christian, you're going What's the difference between a man and say, if you're not Christian, you're going to burn in hell? And the same thing. Because a long time, these religious beliefs are religious. Mm. Oh, indigenous people. You know, when we, when we examine a whole heap of indigenous people, I'm a government enough indigenous people all over the world. Indigenous people you know, fight over religion, you know. Because some of them don't really have no need of. Them just look at the stars, the moon, and the sun, and the earth, eat here and water, and just give thanks. Them look at the animals, them, them give thanks. Them look at the mountains and give thanks. Them look at the trees and give thanks. I saw we didn't know it, you know. People call it all animism. Where you see life in a stone, you see life in a inanimate objects, and you give praise, praises. You give praise to the stars, you give praise to the earth, you give praise to the sun, you give praise to the water, you give praise to the tree. You just give praise for life itself. George. And in giving praise for life, there's no religion will come up in this thing where man kill people because you are said this and you are said that. So some guys come up with this thing, you know, insecure men come up with this idea about religion now. And the man has said, my God is the right God and your God are the wrong God. And if you don't worship my God, he'll come over and kill you, you know. And the Bible have a story night, you know. We had a little mad guy named John go up on a little island named Patmos, and he might go write some things, you know. And he might go say, This is how we are going to go on now. And him talk tell you about some beast and some head, this and this and all that and all them things. And then him tell you about Amagidian. No, Amagidian supposed to be the battle of all battles, you know, where God, righteous people, are going to overcome the wicked. Because, you know, um, Rasta, 
love call people wicked who are no Rasta and heathen and pagan, just like the Christian them. Because Rasta sometimes I draw from these 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 Christian talking and it's the same thing. So the Christian now in a film I'm a Gideon story, you know. It's God righteous people are gonna live you know? As a matter of fact, in my valley clock, I'm gonna say so one hundred and forty four thousand 12,000 from each tribe. So, I go save. And people really believe these things. Now, when a Christian sit down and start telling you, say, boy, right now, you see them people, eh? them wicked, you know, because you know, they might kill people in the name of them religion, in the name of God. And they don't recognize, eh, a years Christians are kill people in the name of God, Jesus Christ. Years. You didn't have a place named Christendom. In a Christendom where them used to, uh, in now call it Europe. Where them slaughter people. I mean, murder people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Through the Pope. And them have a next set of people where named the Crusaders. The Crusaders. Go in at Jerusalem and slaughter people for control the little place there. In the name of Jesus. And when you look up in a, in a, in a the north, north part of Europe, cause up to this day, Christians are kill people in the name of Jesus. Just like, well, it's not publicized because we know why these people is so aggressive and cruel and wicked in them intention against Western civilization. We know why them is so cruel against it. But the Christians, them are going like say, like Bush and him friend them, don't slaughter in this modern time, yeah, modern time. Not 10,000 years ago. Even though none of them never did exist 10,000 years ago. No 1,000 years ago or 500 years ago or 200 years ago. Because we know, say, a Christianity bring we come on here, so, in the name of Jesus. We, African people, in the name of Jesus, in the bottom of the ship, them, amongst the filth, the urine, and the bodies, when we are not so, Lay down on top of one of the like sardines for come over here. So the guys them upstairs I talk about a wretched God Jesus save a wretched man like me. And when we go in the dungeons in a Ghana, the dungeons in Ghana, and when we look and see that our ancestors, our foreparents was placed in some little hole. Sometimes you all one year them pack up people in this little dungeon. And on top of that, they might keep church service and right in front of the, 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 the Cape Coast, where they want to call castle, a two church stand up in front of the door. Two big, big church. And when we look at this modern time, yeah, when we say Bush, hardened Christian, born again himself, born again Christian, send him army. And go in a Iraq and kill about a million people, including some from FEM, uh, FEM army, children, mothers, wipe out families as a Christian. And if you ask all of those people, they will tell you they're a Christian. And when you look at all Jamaica, most of the leaders, then the politicians, them give credence to this Christian idea. And they must suffer the people, them. Most of the police, them, who you see, are kill people. Them go to church every Sunday. In the name of Jesus. Them go to church. We are saying that these two major Western religions, has caused havoc on the people them. 
So which one of them can say them is not bloodthirsty? Vampire. We are declared that the both of them is the most bloodthirsty group on earth. We has caused more devastation on earth than any other thing. In the name of Jesus, them stick flagging up people land and control it and tell about civilized people. In the name of Allah, them go in Africa and devastate Africa to the point where in the name of Allah, them reach over Yasso with them institutions in slavery. Sell a lot of our four parents into slavery because according to them, you know, according to them is Muslim Islam come first. They don't know not about no African unity. They don't know that. They say African unity is not of no significance. If you're not a Muslim, you're an infidel. So when you're in Africa and you hear about like the Muslims, Muslims, Islam, don't look for Africa. Them look for Islam. So whether you are African or whatsoever, if he's not Muslim, you're an infidel. You must die. And the same thing Christianity say, when them go across Africa, no difference. in the name of Jesus, repent of your sins and wicked ways, or you shall be burnt in the fire. You shall be damned. So them are right. Look today and see if religion is created. And then show me one state in the world today that can truly say this is a true Christian state. Show me one of all the countries in the world. Show me one country that can say truly they are a Christian state. Because pure wickedness are going under the name of God. Pure wickedness in the name of God. Whether you want to say Allah or whether you want to say say Jesus, God, whatsoever you want to call it, is wickedness. And see now the two of them is clashing. And you hear the man on the TV and say, boy, this is a final battle, this, you know, long final battle gone. You know, long final battle gone. You matter about final battle. Every time something now, they might say the final time, this is you know, 2018, 2000 and this, the year 2000, the world going to end in the year 2000. When me a little picked me here, my granny used to say that. And my granny never lived in the 2000. And now me past 2000, over 2014, I'm just picking a barn, I pick me a barn again. And all the people that me are talking about the world are going to end. Them still have built up this and still have bank money and still have tried to do all sorts of things. We don't have nothing to do with heaven. Craziness. A whole lot of craziness. Speak. It's a wicked thing. This religion thing where grass the people, them consciousness and thinking and mind. And get them so wicked that when I say good people do wicked things in the name of religion. It takes religion to make some good people do wicked things. And when we look on the Western civilization, because we have a problem with Western civilization. We have a man of Muslim. I defend Islam. But me have a problem with Western civilization. Because we see what Western civilization have to offer humanity. That is not in line with the natural order of things when it comes on to how nature set up. And when I tell a man to go live in a cave, when I tell a man must use computer, when I tell a man must be modern, but what does I say? We can be modern but not western. We can be modern but not western. And when me look and see, say, them thief will land. You know, there's a saying, say, them go to Africa. 
we have the land. And them teach you for pray with your eye closed. And when we open your eye, we have the Bible and them have we land. And up to this day, we hold on for the Bible more than we land. Serious talk, designer. Because we cherish the Bible so much. Really? That them insulting now is so much. I mean, while we are holding on for the Bible, them continuously I take away land and I take away land. And we know that land is the basis of power. You do have no land, you do have no power. Most of the war that has been fought in earth was fought over land. And when the Christian them, the crusaders them, the Knights Templars go into Jerusalem, them want to ravish the land and take back where them feel say is a sacred place. I know if you go to Jerusalem, the three religion them take foothold in this all. Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. A serious thing. Judaism, Christianity, and Islam take hold in a Jerusalem. And you have a group of people we say them is Jews that they were the ones who came out of Israel, out of Egypt. It's a serious problem because this is the story of the problem, you know. Christians don't have no authority to come tell people about them wicked. And look how them have blow up this and have blow up that. Because they have been doing that for hundreds of years. The blood of my ancestors still I wash the streets. The bones of my ancestors still lie under the Atlantic Ocean. And the children that is dying today because of economical and political devastation is still with us now. And guys, I make some false prophecy in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, they would have preferred to see Muta Baruka burn up in a flames if they could have do it. But it's not going to happen. I think burn up in a with flames. You know, where? We use fire cook. We don't use fire burn up people. <laughs> and it's that them want to. They say, Lord God, the boy, I bless him. Bless him. We are not bless him in nothing. It's just a truth. Good people do evil things because of religion. And right now we see a group of people are rise up. And we are saying, oh, them people, they're so wicked. Oh, them are cut off people head and all them today. Look here, man. A long time Christians are do that. You know when you're guillotine? Go by your internet and when you're guillotine. When you're using it in France. Them just put your head on and eat one something and one sharp something and come down by it. So boom, cut off your head and roll down in the, in the street. And everybody cheer. Ray, when them see your head and roll. Ray. You think that done? Wicked. That not done, you know? Them now, this, hey, they know, the soldiers, them are, are, are urinate pan, pan Afghan, the, 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 the people, them in, a, in, a, in Afghanistan. You know, so the man, them hung up people and a water board them. A Christian man, them minded, you know? You, you have two people say, them are not Christian, and them are Christian minded. Them go to church, every Sunday go pray to Jesus. Look at the political systems in a so-called third world countries. Especially when we look at all, oh, every, every year in a January, them go have prayer breakfast. Prayer breakfast in the name of Jesus, them pray that God will look over Jamaica and keep Jamaica safe. And as them come out, so the crime increase. Every year I tell them to don't keep no prayer breakfast. It's a waste of money and time. All them don't long and fat up them belly. In the name of Jesus, a lot of we, our children, our parents, our ancestors die and it's still dying. Because you have a group of people named religious people who can accept life. Just naturally, just life as it is. It, it, life, life is not a, a complicated thing, you know. It's when you start to become religious, it gets complicated. 
Because then you have to start separate yourself. And you have to start look for the next man as because you not believe where you believe you start to say, you might this and you might that and look where you might do and where you might go. You don't move from here and go with that. You know see it? True. A man believe is a personal thing. When it got to him in religion, no, it's supposed to be personal. But no man I take religion now and I enforce it. And you hear a man on TV I tell you, boy, if you know worship Allah, you are got dead. And when me, me, we just are coming to Rasta, me hear some Rasta say that too. Me hear Rasta tell people, say, boy, you say, if you know say last year, you are got dead. And me say, Rasta dead. See him like anybody else. I mean, you're a Christian, them say, you see, if you don't accept the blood of Jesus Christ, you're going to burn up in a fire. And you know what? I'm most a Christian are dead in a Jamaica. As a matter of fact, every time you hear a act of God, and I can't, I can't come to grips with this act of God thing, you know. Because one would believe that if you are worshiping God and go to church every Sunday, and you are living a nice Christian life, when God said a flood, he would make your house blow down. But when I look in Jamaica, and when I see hurricane come, when I see this come, that come, it's pure poor people, I see feel it. And it's them people that go to church every Sunday. Go tell people, say, oh, the other people, them are wicked. And I cannot forget, I cannot forget this thing, that there's two churches on St. Elizabeth. Two children are sent to this bit. One over that side of the road and one over the other side of the road. And the other one, the man, I tell the other one, them all. Them this and them that and that. Them now go over them church. They are this a church and a hurricane come and blow over the church. Blow out the top of the church. <laughs> That's serious thing, you know. The hurricane, the same hypocrite people, they really attack because they're a church over there. So the people, they go over that church, you know. Hurricane come, come blow the top of them church. You know, see and me I say, but wait, it look like God now understand where I go on. Or him come blow with the people in church. Him forgot, him forgot blow with the, him forgot blow with the parliament building on a God knows. A God, him forgot on a Jews, he go blow with that. I go up a Jamaica house and blow with it, blow with Jamaica house. I, 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 I find some, the ministry, some ministry of finance and blow the ministry of finance. All them places now blow with. Oh, all of the house them where, me see rich people living and stand up so. And where poor people live. God. Wash where them depend on some gully bank. Gully edge. You hear how much people dead. How much people flood out all of them farm, flood out all of them chicken and them cow and goat and hog. Wash where and all them things there. And them have to go turn to the government. To go get this and that and that and that. And, that. and them have pray to Jesus every day. Every day. So I don't understand that. And I like somebody explain that to me. That you are prayer every day to Jesus. And when Jesus' Father sends something, and you feel it the most, all the while, over and over and over and over again. And then you say, Well, God knows best. Your son meet in an accident and broke him foot. You say, Oh, God knows best. Why I never take him two foot? He means that God take one of my foot and me must thank him because I never take two of my foot. Oh, what kind of madness is that? Oh, what kind of madness is that? Your son involved in an accident and him foot broke. And you have to thank God and him two foot broke. Madness, total madness. You should have asked God, God, why you make my foot, my son foot broke, one of my foot broke. Oh, you have to about thank God. What kind of foolish is that? Man, juke out when I hear you talk about tanga and you two eyes juke out. <laughs> you see it all, all by why I laugh. If Brian, that makes sense? Right. No, watch your man. You walk on the road, right? And a man fire something and lick in your eye. And you're blind. And you hear your peer parents them now. Well, you know, we have to thank God to know your two eyes them, you know. Why? Why, me, why you must thank God to know your two eyes? Why? Why God have to lick out one of your eyes then? And you have to look through that now. You have to look through that and say, well, the reason why I'm lick out my eyes, I know best. I want my two eyes them, Lord. Please, make I go through life with my two eyes them. Until it get demand, 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 demand. I just saw it go. 
That's why when I play the tune, I say, it's my mind tell me. I do have no divine inspiration to play no music on IRFM. I come here and I play the music according to what I feel. I don't get no inspiration to play music. And when things happen to poor people, the more bad things happen to poor people is the more they might thank God. And if a man, a man who win the lottery, he thank God. I see that God make me win the lottery. Now. And if him not win it, he say, why? But I'm going to just try again, yeah. God know best. <laughs> why him have to put all these things on God? You know, she said, I don't pressure God too much. I don't pressure in God too much, Rasta. I don't blame God for all sorts of things. And I don't put a whole heap of things. You want to pass the exam? Just pray. I'll teach her, tell people that, you know. Teachers in Jamaica tell children, say, the reason why them don't pass the exam is because them is not Christian. You have teachers who tell people that in Jamaica. The reason why them don't pass them exam is not because them don't study hard and don't take them things serious. You know. It's because them is not Christian. And if they was a Christian child, they would be do, do better in class. What kind of madness is that? What kind of madness is that? So everybody blame everything. I'm not blaming everything on God. And I am looking on my life, and I am looking on how life set up, and I am realizing in my consciousness and in my viewing and seeing that every time something bad happen to poor people, them switch it off and say, why well, thank God said this never, you know, if your house blew away, you say, why well, thank God me never dead. I mean, your house blew away. Why you always have to blow? Me see, oh, me see a stone lick a woman who said that in a room that you always same time. Me say, thank God, God saved me life. But God rolled the stone and lick on her house, you know. And she said, God saved him life. Thank God, yes, him saved me life. And now she now have no house for living her. Who rolled the stone down there? Who rolled the stone down there? She says, God rolled the stone and, and, and match up her over to save her life. So Terrible thing. <laughs> and guess what now? Two baby was found in the river. To, to, to pick the fire at the river, I watch where. In at the river, drown because the flood. Them watch where. A man I said, well, well, you know, thank God I know my picnic. <laughs> wow. The heart, the hardness of men heart in the name of God is a serious thing. So you have a man up on the TV you now and he might tell people, say, if you're not Muslim, if you're not, if you're not worship Allah according to how the Quran said, you're going to die. You deserve to die. And the next one, who is a Christian, I say, well, you know, say, this is the last war now. We're good. I've overcome evil. So the other man is the evil and him is the good. And in the name of Jesus, Anybody who no accept Jesus Christ as them personal savior going to burn one thousand years in the fire. The compassionate God, God the compassionate, God the the, the loving, the kind, and the forgiving is going to burn you in a bottomless pit for one thousand years. When him come back in the glory. When the trumpet sound in heaven. Eh, hey, when you go and look for trumpet sound in heaven. Well, if a musician them are dead off. We blow trumpet. You know, see a pure keyboard I play, you know. It's a terrible thing. It's a terrible thinking. The thinking make good people do evil things. So true. The thinking. When a man talk about love, all of the religion them. Proclaim love. But when it gets right down to it, it's control. It's mind control them are dealing with. It's not unconditional love for humanity. It's unconditional love for the people them who is in the religion that you profess. 
And if you don't profess my religion, you see, when the time come, I shall say, I know you not. Get thee behind me. I know you not. And that is what, that is what we're seeing in the world today. The world today is corrupted by religious men, especially the man them, insecure men who feel, say, them must rule the world in the name of them religion. And then them come and tell you about love and kindness and this and that. Yes, you have religious people give to the poor, but then you have all done man I give to the poor too. You think that so the done man are loving picnic like how the Christian loving picnic or the Muslim loving picnic? And yet still the done man go there and murder other people picnic. He might murder other people picnic. But guess what? You saw him come home. Him love him children, then him want him children him to have the best education. And him love him wife. He want to give all the money that him thief. For go buy false ear and eyelash and all sort of big watch and pink boots and all these things. He thinks he not love him children them. He love him children just like the man who go to church every Sunday. Just like the Muslim who go to the mosque. Every Saturday or whatsoever I'm going there. Him love him children them. But guess what now? You see the society where we live in a name, Jamaica, yes or no? We're run by these so-called religious-minded people where the Prime Minister of Manawa behind her says she can't lose election in the name of Jesus and then she's going to lose the election. When man are talking about on the divine intervention can save Jamaica. And we, 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 we young politicians are talking about the reason why things are going to turn out because the people them turn away from God. You know, entire the people them say that, you know, you know say, I feel them, feel the people them, you know. When you hear all Damien Crawford come out and talk about God, you know, in relation to the people, you realize, say, all him realize, say, the part of them, that's why I'm trying to talk about dirty labor right and, 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 and plyboard comrades, you know. Plyboard comrades and dirty labor right. And then I'm turn around and say, why is it right now? You see, the reason why things are going to in Jamaica, you know, is through the people them turn from God. You wish God him at about And the Christian God him at about them. Because I'm a Christian. And all the people them want to do is return to God. And then we see things get better. As madness. And, and all the people them want to do is return to God and then we see things get better as madness is madness is 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 them realize eh, they are here to do a work and when them can't do the work them turn it over now to some supernatural being that the people them believe in now so when a man say it's only divine intervention can help we the help the crime in Jamaica. He might dry it out of him and knowing and I say, boy, right now. Me feel, you know. But Jamaican people now look, say, Bunting is saying that he has failed. Then if him feel, why don't leave the work? If him feel, and his only divine intervention can help Jamaica now with the crime, he must leave the work because he can't do nothing. He put it in the hands of the Lord. So Lord, come down and help Jamaica. And then now you hear a man come say no boy right now. The reason why the drought they on the land is because the people them turn out. It's where them people are come from. Oh, he must say that. The reason why we are talking about Almila now, because we are calling them name, you know. We are calling them name. We don't care. We are calling them name. It's public. This was made public already before I had said. Almila say the reason why Jamaica got through. The 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 the, 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 the drought is because the people them turn away from the ladder them even turn back. But guess what now? Almila a drive a Dan man go at the embassy and the lad couldn't direct the police them in our next direction that him not get caught. And I drive him, I drive the man now. The man dress up like a man, have a files here and them thing there, and the police them catch him. Oh, he make the police them catch him if he might do the Lord's work. It's the Lord's work he might do, you know. So, oh, oh the police them catch him. You know, she so say a madness. You know, she so say it's a religious, it's like a, it's a psychological madness. 
that here Al Miller claim say he move Hurricane from Lickinston. But he could move policeman from him car we are drive do this to go at the embassy. You know to say a madness. You know to say it's ego. You know, see the man them are work off of ego. Where them feel say boy, yes, you know, everything them turn. Watch out. The only people can solve Jamaica problem is Jamaican people. No supernatural being is not. You could have believed in a supernatural being a little more. Supernatural being not going to put food by your plate and not going to make you get a job. Is the electors, the elected people and who you elect and how you move into the society going to help you, to help your children them. It has nothing to do with no religion. Religion can't save you. And that me I said non apologetically, religion can't save black people right now in this time yeah. Because religion put you in the problem in the first place. In the name of Jesus, the guy them going to Africa, take we out, carry come on here, so string you up on light posts, string you up on tree, use all the, the, the penis as, 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 as carry it in a buckle and carry it home for said, yes, watch your man. And them people is Christian, the Ku Klux Klan, who don't like Jews, homosexuals, and blacks, cause that them a fight against. Jews, homosexuals, and black, the Ku Klux Klan is a Christian organization who's kill, who's still killing people. So when we look on the earth here right now, and we look and we say, where the guys are to Africa? The Arab them enslave African. White people come enslave African. We have our own little indigenous religion around the corner, so, and we are do our thing. We never have fight and have kill people over religion. And now them have a fight over politics, them have a fight over religion, them have a fight. Look how the guys them write in the Bible say homosexuality. Anybody who is a homosexual must be put to death. And I write that, you know, in a Bible, them put that. A man shall not lay down with a man, nor a woman with a woman, nor a beast. And any man who do that must be put to death. And in the 21st century and now, them turn round and say, look here, you see, if you not accept a man asleep sleep with a man, you need, you not going to get no aid from we. And as a matter of fact, we're going to suffer, you know. Because most of our guys know is homosexual. That how can we come now? Come follow the Bible that say four or five thousand years ago. Yet still black people still have follow it. White people now nah, follow that. The majority of people in our in our Europe is not religious. So how that go now? And them have we a whole arm for the Bible, you know? Them have we a whole arm for the Bible like it's a crutch. If we never have no Bible, what would I do? If we never have no Bible, come like we we'll have but we never did last. We did have institutions and organizations set up in Africa before we come here. That was really carrying us through, that make us live and help our family and, and, and group in, in, in what we call a nation. Even though no one call us nation, but we is nation, we is not a tribe. How come we have tribe and them have nation? Because nation cannot be organized group and tribe cannot be splintered and disorganized people we were organized we were structured we did have science and technology we did have maths we did have physics we did have agriculture and we did have all of these things and it was structured it was not a hard thing tribe this tribe job tribe job it's organized and we never kill people over what they believe in her we never kill people over what them believe in. Uh. It's when the invaders go to Africa here, people are kill people over what belief in. Uh. Or the hell you kill people, kill somebody over what they believe. I uh, believe that. If you believe that, I uh, believe that. So where you kill a man because of what believe for? Uh. I don't believe what you believe. So therefore what now? What that mean now? I must dead? What kind of madness is that? So which part they all love coming at that? Oh, love coming at that. That I no believe where you believe in her. And you no believe where I no believe in her. But I feel, say, boy, you feel dead. 
You know, she says something wrong. Black people in a Jamaica. You know, she says something wrong with the thinking. That's a man I'm going to tell you, if you don't believe in a Jesus Christ, you're going to burn in a fire. And all we want to do is be happy. If a man says, love your neighbor as yourself, where else you want this or no? You don't really want nothing else. Love your neighbor as yourself. To see the good in things, you have to see yourself in things. So when I say love your neighbor as yourself, you know, that is not no Ten Commandments, you know. That did the day before Ten Commandments, right? Because the guy who write that did a look on something older than him for write that. We know that. You know, see it? His bully for commandments was in where this mind come from that him could have got right. Love your neighbor as yourself. That did a long time. So where's your need if you love your neighbor as yourself? Because if you see yourself in things, if you see the good in things, you have to see yourself in the thing. True. So if you see good, you have to see yourself in that good. And if you see people, you have to see yourself. That's why Rasta say, I and I. Time now separate I from the I. It means no second person. It means no plural. There's no plurality in the language of Rasta. So when I and I say I and I, even though it might sound sem like semantics, but it have a logics inside of it. So when a guy come now and start to quote this and a quote that, it has quoting this and quoting that to have nothing to do with our reality right now. Nothing. Well, my people, that was a journey, a very, very interesting journey. Hope we learn something on the way. Hope we learn something. I surely did. We as African people, we need to look into these things and teach our youths and our generation because so many things that is embedded in our mind that is not true and we all have to be aware of that because it's going to harm our future. It's going to harm our future generation. But you all hear what Muta Baruch have to say. I want you to leave your honest thoughts and opinion down in the comment section. And you know it's a black power movement, so definitely drop a like and subscribe if you haven't done it already. And share with a friend or a family so they can be a part of the movement. And I'll catch you in the next one. Irie.